Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. And this time we are going to learn something new. This is the first tutorial video of software called Warp 3D. Warp 3D is an open source non-linear finite element solver and I believe it is from University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. In this video, I will give you a brief introduction about this code Warp 3D. Then we will see how to install or download it. And then we will run a basic example which is shown over here. So to run a basic example, there are four distinct steps. First, we have to prepare an input file. Then we have to run the simulation. After running the simulation, we have to convert output files into .exo format using a Python code. And then we will visualize the results in Paraview. I'm going to do everything from scratch. So I don't have Warp 3D on my computer right now. We will download it together and we will go through the example. First, let me take you to the website of Warp 3D. This is the website of Warp 3D, warp3d.net. And as you can see, this code is compatible with Windows, Linux or Mac OS. In this video, we are going to solve a very basic example, but this code can do many more things. If you go in this capabilities, you can see all the things this code can do. It's a little bit difficult to run this code because it doesn't have any graphical interface or it doesn't have any pre-processing or post-processing facility. So we have to use some third-party softwares for creating a mesh or creating an input file and similarly to visualize the results. So first thing, go into this downloads. Over here, you can see current distribution release. You can download this .zip file. I'm going to use it with Windows, but it will work exactly same with all other operating systems as well. Then you can just download it. The good thing about Warp 3D is you don't have to install it. It will directly give you an application file and you just have to run that application file. If you want to do something of your own, if you want to change some source code, that of course you can do. And then you can compile it again and create a new execution file and then use that one. Now the zip file is downloaded. You can save it in any folder. I have saved it in C drive, but you can save it anywhere. Then extract it. I'm going to extract again in C drive. It will take some time. I'm going to fast forward it over here. Now extraction is done. If you go inside this folder, there are many examples already given. You can directly run them. The most important file is in this folder, run windows. If you go in this, you can find the application file. So we just need this one file. It is already compiled everything, everything. Now all these examples are little bit complicated. So I have modified and made one of my own example and we will solve that example. First, let's just rename this folder as only warp 3D, just for simplicity. And then let's create one more folder where we will run our example. I will name it as example. Let's just quickly see what example we are going to solve. This is very basic example, but it will give you idea about warp 3D. So there are just two elements and dimensions are given over here. We are going to fix all degrees of freedom of nodes on the bottom face and we are going to apply a pressure on this top surface, pressure of 10. Dimensions are given over here. These are the node numbers given in red. And for both of these elements, we are going to assume minus plasticity with isotropic hardening. So material parameters are given over here. This is the typical isotropic hardening curve. And in warp 3D, we have to define these many parameters. These first four parameters are self-explanatory given over here in this graph. This alpha is to decide which type of hardening we are going to use. So alpha equal to zero means isotropic hardening and rho is density. Again, warp 3D does not have any units. So it is same as abacus. You can use any set of consistence units. Let's go back to our example. As there are only two elements, we actually don't have to use any software to generate mesh. I'm just going to write it down manually. And I have taken one input file from provided example and I have modified it just to show you very briefly how input file looks. This explanatory mark is comment. So first you have to just define a structure. This can be any name. Then you have to define a material. Now this metal is a name given by user and all the material parameters I showed on the PPT. Those are mentioned over here. Then you have to define the number of elements and number of nodes. So our model consists two elements with 12 nodes. Then element type. There are many element types available and here we will assign the material to elements. So this is like assigning a section in Abacus. Then we have to define coordinates for all the nodes. These have to be sequential and I think it has to start with one. Then this is element connectivity. So two elements, they consist these nodes. 
this blocking automatic you don't have to worry about it right now this command actually generates output file in a format which can be used by python code to visualize it in para view so this is very important this you must include then these are boundary conditions so we are fixing the all nodes on bottom face then this is applying a pressure on top face and these are some analysis parameters we have to choose this is similar to step in abacus and finally you have to define which outputs you want so i am asking for displacement stress strain and reactions so this is just very short input file and i am going to save this file in this example folder which we created over here then using command prompt you have to go into this folder so cd example now we just have to run this inp file with help of that application file of warp 3d which is located in this warp 3d folder and in run windows this file so the best way to do this is first just set where your warp 3d folder is located so for me it is in c drive wherever you saved it just give that path and set that as warp 3d home then once you know where warp 3d folder is you can just set warp is equal to this address and then we know where the file is in warp 3d folder so run windows and warp 3d exe if you just type percent warp percent then this error will come don't worry first time when you run it this error will come what you have to do now is just say okay and this file over here just rename it just remove this initial save just refresh close this command prompt start the new one again go back repeat the process first set warp 3d home and then this now if you type warp percent it should show this this means your warp 3d is ready to use now come out of this control c go back to our example folder and command to run this job is percent warp percent and then in these brackets you just have to type the input file warp 3d dot inp and you have to define output files name so just say let's say out press enter and it just two elements so it is done quickly so these files are actually the outputs we requested so this wnd means displacement wne has strains reactions and wns has stresses this out file gives you all the information about the example what you just ran it gives all the information how much time it took everything and this e we need to generate a file which is compatible with para view maybe we can rename it to anything let's say results now we need this file results and these four files copy them into go into this warp 3d and over here go into this warp 3d to ex double i and just paste them over here now this warp 3d to ex double i is a python file this you need to run with python and one more thing is this is compatible with python 2 so if you have python 3 you have to install python 2 now using command prompt again go into this folder now using python you have to run this file i am not going to detail of how to install python but just remember you have to install python version 2 then it will ask you for the file name of output so that maybe let's say test then path to flat file that is our results txt file so results dot txt then path to directory we are already in that folder so that same folder and for this as of now just say no no and it will generate a dot exo file so now this test exo you can visualize in para view so let me open para view and let me just put this file in para view just say apply over here and these are the two elements over here you can see how many output parameters we have we have many many this is my stress stress and then maybe displacement let's see reaction and displacement say apply and then over here you can see them so displacement 
so this is the displacement you can see it is uniaxial tensile so in y direction we applied some pressure then stress it's uniform stress almost uniform also if you go in displacement here you can see displacement in different directions as well this is because of poisson's ratio contracting anyway so that's it about this video i highly recommend this code it is very powerful in future we will definitely go into much more details of many functionalities of this code if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching Thank you.